This security scare at the White House has the head of the Secret Service in the hot seat right now. Julia Pearson is taking a grilling on Capitol Hill. She's also taking full responsibility after an armed Army veteran climbed the fence and made his way into the mansion. Our Brian Carter takes a closer look. It's clear that our security plan was not properly executed. This is unacceptable and I take full responsibility. Sitting in the hot seat on Capitol Hill, Secret Service Director Julia Pearson called the security breach at the White House just eight days ago unacceptable and vowed to make sure it never happens again. I am committed to the following, a complete and thorough investigations of the facts of this incident, a complete and thorough review of all policies, procedures, protocols in place that govern the security of the White House complex, and a response to this incident. Director Pearson told the House Oversight and Reform Committee an automated locking system is now installed at the front door of the White House after Omar Gonzalez, armed with a knife, was able to not only get over the fence, but get into the White House. Director Pearson confirmed to lawmakers information from whistleblowers released Monday night that Gonzalez pushed past an officer at the door and was apprehended outside the green room. That's different information from what lawmakers say they were originally told. The White House is supposed to be one of America's most secure facilities and in fact one of the world's most secure facilities. So how on earth did it happen? Gonzalez was just one of six fence jumpers this year alone. The chairman of the committee says this agency is plagued with a history of security failures. After the hearing, Director Pearson is expected to meet in a closed door classified session with members of the committee to continue this discussion. On Capitol Hill, Brianne Carter, ABC 7 News.